icon only comes out at night. If you shine a light in its direction, it suddenly disappears. This sensor sketch resembles what we What is going on everybody and welcome to another video. Today we're watching best in news interviews ever. So uh, the first clip was hilarious. We can just see it already. So uh, you ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Back here live at the Waterfront Village with my friend, the zombie, Jonathan. You're looking good. Jonathan just got an awesome face paint job. What do you think? I like turtles. <laughs> All right, you're great zombie. Good time here at the Waterfront Village. <laughs> Thousands of passengers for? across the East Coast, of course, had to alter their plans. We that? spoke to one Snow. kid who was trying to cope with the delay. Drop, drop. I'm just sitting there on my iPod. It's oh. just so frustrating. I want to be in Florida getting a tan on my back. Before we toss it back, we got to go to the Drew, the farm kid. I never seen that before. <sighs> How you doing there, pal? I've seen this one before. Right now, you know, I know he can't say anything right now, but you know what he's saying right now? E, 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 e equals MC squared. Get the camera off my face. I'll take this cantaloupe. Oh, no. Oh, Dan, don't make him cry. It's terrible. I love that kid. What did you think about the ride? It was great. And apparently, I've never been on live television before, but... Apparently, sometimes I don't watch the sh I don't watch the news because I'm a kid, and apparently every time, apparently Grandpa just gives me the remote after we watch the Powerball. It's the Powerball. <laughs> Tell me about the ride. What did you think about the ride? <laughs> well, it was great. <laughs> Why? Because apparently you're spinning around, and apparently every time you get dizzy, yeah. the all you do is get dizzy. What? Yeah. And I've never ever been on live television. I fat? never ever be on live television. In the background. Look. Yeah, and apparently one, I already went three. down the super slide. When I went down the wall, I was scared half to death. I'm, I just freak out. Okay, okay. Well, I woke up to go get me a cold pop. Then I thought somebody was barbecuing. I said, oh Lord Jesus, it's a fire. <laughs> Then I ran out. I didn't grab no shoes or nothing, Jesus. I ran for my <laughs> life. So far. And the smoke got me. I got bronchitis. Ain't nobody got time for that. Air Covered was sitting in a friend's car eating lunch when Friday's tornado came barreling toward them. I was scared. I was finna eat a hamburger. It took it. I don't even know where it's at. It took your hamburger out of your hand. I don't know where it's at. Tell me about the whistles. The whistles. <laughs> <laughs> what you want to whistle? It's that woo woo, you know what I'm saying? Then you got the flows. They didn't trip off the flow masses. It's that decoration, man. It's just for decoration. That's it. 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 I'm so glad the power come back on because I was burning up. Lamasa Pace said she was thrilled to see all the power trucks rolling down like her street, teeth. South Military. The whole street was lined up with them, with them cherry pickers and all them crew. I said, I said you said hallelujah. I go like hot dog. Look at that, boy. Look at that thing. How well are you gonna sleep tonight? You bet I'm gonna sleep like a baby. Drink me some good old Kool Aid and drink me some. Some cool <laughs> big job of ice oh, cool no. and go to sleep like a baby. Kelly Dodson was asleep with a little girl inside their apartment on Webster Drive when I was attacked by some idiot from out here in the project. He tried to rape me. He tried to pull my clothes off. Well, obviously we have a rapist in Lincoln Park. He's climbing in your windows. He's snatching your people up trying to rape them so y'all need to hide your kids, hide your wife, and hide your husband because they raping everybody out here. The attacker got loose and went out the upstairs window, but he did leave something behind. We got your t-shirt, you done left fingerprints and all. You are so dumb. You are really dumb. For real. You don't have to come and confess that you did it. We're looking for you. We, we gonna find you. I'm letting you know that. So you can run and tell that. Oh boy. <laughs> Heard screaming. I meet my McDonald's. I uh, come outside, I see this girl going nuts, trying to get out of her house. So I go on the porch, <laughs> a 
<laughs> oh, I said, uh, and she says, help me get out. I've been, I'm, I've been in here a long time. And like I say, my neighbor, uh, you, you got, you got the, some big testicles to pull this off, bro. Because we see this dude every day. I mean, every day. How long have you lived here? I've been here a year. Okay. You should come up, bro. Right. I barbecue with, with this dude. We eat ribs and, and whatnot and listen to soft music. You see how I'm coming from? And you had no indication that there not was anything else? Not bro, not a clue. What was your reaction on the girls' faces? I can't imagine to see the sunlight, to be bro, around people. I knew something was wrong when a little pretty white girl ran into a black man's arms. Something is wrong here. Dead giveaway. Dead Charles, giveaway. Charles, thank you very Dead much. Dead giveaway. Thank you very much for your time. And either she homeless or she got problems. That's the only reason why she ran into a black man. Charles, thank you. Thank you for being there, man. Curiosity leads to large crowds in Mobile's Crichton community. Many of you bring binoculars, camcorders, even camera phones to take pictures. To me, it looked like a level car to me. All I got to do is look up in the tree. <laughs> Who else in the level car? Say yeah! yeah! Eyewitnesses say the leprechaun only comes out at night. If you shine a light in its direction, it suddenly disappears. This amateur sketch resembles what many of you say the leprechaun looks like. Others find it hard to believe and have come up with their theories and explanations for <laughs> If you say the leprechaun looks like, others find it hard to believe and have come up with their own theories and explanations for the image. My theory is it's casting a shadow from the other limb. Could be a crackhead that got hold to the wrong stuff. <clears throat> and it told me to get up in a tree and play a leprechaun. <laughs> Who is that? This guy helping to direct uh, traffic says he's prepared for his encounter <laughs> with the leprechaun. He's suited up from head to toe. I bet he made that. This war is all spells right That's... here. This is the special leprechaun flute. <sighs> been passed down from thousands of years ago. My <laughs> great grandfather was Irish. So I just came to help out. Others just came to get lucky in hopes of how the gold may be buried under this tree. You want to go? I'm gonna run a back hole and uproot that tree. I want to know where to go. Like, I want to go. A what? Give me the gold. I want to go. No. Man, them jokers were big. Size of a quarter dog on. Many said it sounded like nothing they've ever heard before. He said, Kapooya, Kapooya. And your boy that hell just came in. I looked by my, <laughs> open my door and I looked out my door and started hitting me in my head. I took out running, and ran to my restroom and then I called my mama to see what she all right. Folks were told to stay off roadways no. unless absolutely, positively necessary. But they still came out to places like the Circle K gas station. I want a donut. David Grisham, the leader of an area radical Christian group, attempted to publicly set fire to the Islamic holy book. Snuck up behind him and took his Quran. He said something about burning the Quran. And I was like, dude, you have no Quran and ran off. I didn't make it. Ah. I didn't make it. <laughs> 7 a.m. or 11 or whatever it is, everybody finally left. I just make this kid pass out on my floor. I've seen this before. Mm -hmm. People wanted to Lots be of times. That was their decision. Oh, bro, it's just like, dude, you get the best Why girls so ever, dark? dude. Just like, you pull in, and you just I get cold. spit right out of them. You just drop in and just smack the lip. Pull back. Drop down. Smack. Bah. And then after that, you just drop in. Ride the barrel and get pitted, so pitted like that. I ain't no robbing type of person. I wouldn't do nothing to no innocent man. I've been robbed. I've been pistol whipped. They got that on file. I'm innocent. I ain't do nothing. I don't know what's going on. All I know is my side of the story. I can't tell no other story. I'm innocent. And mama, I love you. P.O.P. I'm doing that all good pimps for a baby for life. Surveillance tape is catching a routine morning at this gas station on Bannister. 
until chaos erupts. I was putting one more tap of coffee in my coffee cup, and out of the corner of my eyes, I saw two guys come in, one with a black hoodie and one with a white hoodie. And the guy with the black hoodie said, we want your money, everybody up front and down. And I'm like, oh, oh, why do I need coffee now? The guy in the black starts coming down, and I'm like, don't look, don't look, don't look. So I'm putting my hair down, you know? And he comes right to me, and he goes, get down now. And I go, yes, sir. And I just drop to my knees. Then I heard, boom, boom, boom. And I'm like, oh, my God. And so I back farther and farther away. And I think, maybe I should think, but I don't. And so then I'm thinking, Count to 2,000 again, so I did, and then I go, me amigos, me amigos. Nobody said nothing. I'm like, oh my God, they're dead. Just minding my own business. Bam! Hit me hard right from the back. I was glued to my seat. I was like, Whoa! I could see the car in front of me. I was about to hit me, so I kind of veered off this way. As I veered off this way, the guy who hit me, he veered off that other way, and he hit the curb, flipped over, rolled over, run into the electrical pole, and I didn't know he hit the pole. All of a sudden, I kind of stopped, and I was like, whoa. And, uh, the wires come down, boom, and then arc, arc, bam, that fire was coming everywhere. It was arcing, sparking, blowing up. I saw one arc, arc go from the corner of my van up to the car behind me. It was like a big rainbow, boom, and it was coming up, boom, boom, and I was like, shit. So I, I opened up my door, and it didn't come down, and as I come up, I started to touch the top, and a little spark jumped out. I was like, whoa. I, I stepped out, rest away. Lucky I didn't get burned more. So, oh, it was crazy, dude. I was just sitting there and I was like, oh. reality hits you hard, bro. Well, the police wouldn't let me go to through 100, 122nd, so I had to go around 119th and go. Um, and I was, they let me look at the the lawyer's building. I know the vacuum cleaner man. He's seen my tits. Um, <coughs> I know that's not going on TV, but it's true. It's true. I'm not here to lie to you. Um, I was trying to get a hold of you because I couldn't identify the business that window got blown out. And I was trying so to the police figure out who to contact to secure that poor business. Did you see the damage to the building then? All the bricks? Yes, yes, yes. He must have been gravely hurt. He must have been badly hurt, injured. How fast? I haven't been allowed to drive for three years, so I am not a good judge of that. Did she say she would drive me? You want to see my tits? <laughs> Louie? I was in the passenger side of this fucker's car, and he comes over on there. He was over by the recycling center. He says, oh, when I was in the Virgin Islands, 30 years old on a business trip, I, 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 uh, I, I fucked this 14-year-old. I was like, you what? He's like, I raped this 14-year-old and starts crying, gives me a big hug. He's like, fucking 300-pound guy. I'm like, oh, shit. He must be fucking, man. Like, what's he talking about? I didn't take him seriously at first. He comes driving down this way. He's like, you know what? I come to realize I'm Jesus Christ, and I can do anything I fucking want to. And watch this. Bam! And he smashed into this fucking guy right there, pinned him in between that fucking truck. And so I fuck it, I hop out, I look over, the guy's pinned there. I mean like, freight train riders know this, like if you get pinned between something, do not fucking move that shit, otherwise you bleed out. Like, motherfucker, I, I ran in, I grabbed the keys, he's fucking sitting there like nothing even happened. And like fucking like, man, if you started driving that car around again, man, there would've been a hell of a lot of bodies around here. Fucking, I hop on out, and so I grab the bag, I threw it over by that pole right there, and then fucking Buddy gets out, and he's trying to help him, he runs up and he grabs one of them, man, like a guy that big can snap a woman's neck like a pencil stick. So I fucking ran up behind him with a hat. That's a pencil yeah, stick. Smash, so smash. Yeah. <laughs> Who else is going? Yeah. Who was walking there? But who else? I don't know how bad they are. Why don't they just walk the gutter? It ain't a far walk. It's just 38 miles. Why don't you walk? Why don't you walk? Oh. 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 So oh, one guy shit, when no, I was in the bus once, and um, I used to call him the rock at school, or I lost it or something. <clears throat> I had some old girl sitting on the 200 store, and like, I go on the bus. I didn't have any money, mm -hmm. so, so they let, let me on this one. Why don't you just you walk home? When I was a kid, I used to run from here all the way. How about splitting that ass?
so goddamn fucking tired. By the time you get to New Hope, you won't be strutting that ass. You'll be so goddamn fucking tired by the time you get to New Hope that you won't be strutting that ass. You'll be. <laughs> what's made you? What's got you so mad today? Me? Yeah. Because <laughs> everybody wants to run. Everybody wants to run. That's good. Run from here. They're gonna fly off. I'll be right behind them. <laughs> see how far they can run. It's a chauvinistic pig you attitude no that you're yeah. gonna do something because you work at the arsenal and you got a fucking Mercedes Benz and you ain't gotta walk every day, so you're gonna get out and strut that ass, strut that ass, strut that ass, strut that ass, strut that ass. Strut that ass. When you start walking, my friend, and you get 10 and 15 miles on the highway, you won't be strutting that ass. You'll be half dead by the time you get there. So it's a chauvinistic pig attitude that Clinton's got. Strut that ass, strut that ass, strut that ass, strut that ass. And when you walk about 15 or 20 miles, you won't be strutting that ass. You'll be so fucking tired, you won't be hard to hold that ass up. You won't be strutting that ass, strutting that ass. What is wrong with this guy? Was the best one. <coughs> was that one that made us laugh that much? Hold on. Ah, <laughs> 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 let <laughs> No, it was the whole thing because they're just retarded. <laughs> uh, the guy wanted to look under the tree for gold. <laughs> it looks like a snowman. Like the drawing of a snowman. Where's its nose? Yeah, <clears throat> but that's the best news interviews of ever, apparently. That was hilarious. Uh, be sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel and suggest us videos to watch in the future. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you all next time.